Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. My name is Mila, welcome to my channel. I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel, like this video and activate the notification bell. So today I'm going to make you a YSL uh, shoe kind of unboxing from my Teresa. So yeah, uh, I wanted to start by saying that my periods are in a few days, so I'm very hormonal and bitchy, so yeah. It's just what it is. <laughs> okay, guys, first of all, I want to say that my favorite places to shop luxuries, my Teresa, Neta Porter, and the Outnet. The customer service there is the most amazing. I wish this would be sponsored, like, one day, hopefully. And um, they're just the best. Like, basically, um, the, why I was on the fence of buying these shoes, I'm going to show them to you. They are the Opium pump patent leather and i love them they are the 11 centimeter one the higher ones so why i was on the fence of buying these shoes is because um everywhere on internet people had different information about the sizing basically on uh, the my Teresa website they give you like a um like they tell you like oh uh it's size big or it's size small take a uh, half a size bigger take half half a size smaller and so on so it was written about the shoes, take half a size bigger. And on every post that I have seen about the shoes, because I want them since they were released, I saw that take a size smaller. So when I called my Teresa, the women who took the phone was just so sweet. And for me to say that someone is so sweet, like it's a rare thing, you know. And she was so sweet. She literally was like, Okay, uh, give me some references, like what shoes do you have, what size do you ha are you in these shoes? And then actually I ended up, pick up picking up my normal uh, shoe size, 37 and a half. And also like once I ordered on the outlet, I remember like the guy was so sweet. So basically I passed an order, the order didn't go through. So uh, I was like, okay, I reordered. So I did two orders the same. And I called him and he said, oh, it's a bug in the system. I'm so sorry. I'm so personally sorry. I was like, no, you don't have to be personally sorry. And yeah, they're just ridiculously sweet. Uh, you're going to tell me yeah, it's a luxury, so they should be. But trust me, it's not like this everywhere at all. Okay. Uh, look at my Chloe unboxing and I have a story time, not the same level. Okay, so let's talk about the shoes. So I obviously have not worn them out yet. Uh, I took a few pictures in them and I would say that the comfort is not as bad as people were saying. I was hesitating in between these or uh, the sandals, but I, I know two people who have the sandals and they told me that they're ridiculously uncomfortable. So I went for the pump. Anyway, these kind of shoes are my favorite. I prefer pumps than sandals. I think they're more versatile because you can wear them in summer and winter. I just think it is like a statement shoe and it is just amazing. I'm going to show you a close up of the shoe right now and I'm going to show you the shoes worn. Okay, guys, I have come to conclusion with myself that I think that this is the best way for you to see the item more uh, closely. So yeah, I'm going to open the box. The box is just a beautiful white bo uh, black box. I would prefer it to be more out there, but I mean, like, I'm Russian, so you know. <laughs> when you open it, you see the amazing shoes, and obviously there was more paper when I opened them the first time, but yeah, I just keep them like that. And it comes in this very nice box, so these are the ones I got. I honestly prefer four pumps patent leather. Because um, usually when you have pointy pumps, the pattern leather uh, use like holds the shoe a lot longer. You can wear the shoes a lot longer before them getting ruined. Usually the um, like how to say the normal leather scuffs very easily, and I think that they have this very Batman uh, shoe vibe, like this bad beach boss vibe, and I really really like that. So they have white stitching inside. You have the Yves Saint Laurent logo here. This is how they look underneath. Oh my God, I think that the quality of this is uh, impeccable. 
I mean, for almost a thousand dollars, it has to be. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I feel like the price on these is the only thing that really upsets me because I think that like 700, 800, okay. But like almost a thousand, I feel like it's a little bit steep. Here I have the dust bag. By the way, guys, um, I always said that with colorful stuff, you shouldn't wear black shoes. But when it is this kind of black shoes that are statementy and not just classic pumps, you know what I mean? I feel like you can get away wearing them with uh, pretty much everything as they are basically the star of the show. Yeah, and they are just amazing and I'm so happy I bought them. In the beginning, I was like, no, Mila, you don't need them. And especially now that we are in quarantine, it's so stupid. But you know, like, I love to make stupid decisions, it looks like. Did I just find the floor? Hmm. I really have a problem with floors, don't I? And yeah, forgot to remove that. <laughs> So I would advise you basically, if you have a wider foot, foot to take half a size bigger, and if you like your shoes uh, snug, just and uh, your foot is not too wide, just uh, take your uh, usual size, and I think you you will be just fine. So yeah, guys, uh, keep on watching. <laughs> Okay guys, so here are the shoes. Don't worry about my bruises on my legs. I literally have bruises all the time, but this is how the shoes look. I feel like they are not too uncomfortable because of the fact that uh, kind of this part is quite wide. You know what I mean? It's not like a stiletto heel. And yeah. Hope you can see them well, I think so. I definitely recommend them uh, to check them out. And if I wear these a lot, I'm gonna get the sandals with the gold heel. But I prefer, I always prefer the all black to be honest, but yeah. Just beautiful shoes, I love shoes. I'm gonna do your shoe collection guys soon. It's just like such a hassle to take all my shoes out, so yeah. Be understanding, it's coming. Okay, so guys, the issue I had with these shoes is the price. Because they are, at the end, just basic pumps. Of course, with the YSL logo, which makes them like, I don't know, just ridiculously beautiful. But yeah, I don't think they are so hard to wear. Like, I would say that uh, they feel like a Pigal 120 from uh, Louboutin. Not like the Socate, like the Pigal. So I feel like they are more comfortable than the Socate. And they are also one centimeter less. So yeah, this is something to consider. So yeah, what I remember is that they were very expensive. And usually, I don't really buy... Uh, luxury shoes that are these shoes were 923 swiss it's almost the same as 923 23 dollars i feel like it is an exp it is expensive for a luxury a shoe uh louboutins i have usually are 660 swiss which i think it's a big difference in price but i mean whatever i wanted them for ages and uh yeah Look guys, I hope this review helped you and I think you should just go true to size. 37.5 is my, I'm usually in between 37 and 37.5, and so I went 37.5 and, and yes, they are a bit tight, but I prefer shoes that are tight rather than shoes that are too big. I hope this review was, some, was somewhat helpful and the shoes are just gorgeous. Honestly, I'm not generally a fan of YSL um, bags. I think that they look a bit like tacky, like who am I to say what's tacky or not, but I feel like they are a little bit. And uh, the shoes, I like them all. I like the platform ones, I like uh, these ones. And yeah, I would definitely recommend you to check them out. Would I go for these over Louboutins? I don't know, because I really like, I don't know. They, they do have something special. And yeah, at the end of the day, you take the decision. 
Thank you so much for watching guys, I top super love. If you would subscribe to my channel, activate the notification bell, like this video if you like it, and I see you in my next one. Bye!